Virgo. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Lightworker Witten. I'm so excited to get into your October 2024 forecast. Now we've got a lot to cover, so let me tell you what we're going to go through. We're going to go through your forecast for October overall, month ahead, okay, high level. Then we're going to look into your love life and your career, career and finances. Those two readings are going to look like what to expect, the unexpected theme of the month, okay? Now, I already did a separate reading for the the new moon solar eclipse that we have on October 2nd. So if you haven't watched that video already, please check it out. But I'm going to get a jumper for you just to see what the overarching theme of October will be for you, Virgo. Let's see what jumps out. I like to get a jumper because I feel like it rounds out your reading. All right, got your card right here. I'll read that at the end. I feel like it rounds out your reading. So it, it kind of just puts an extra period on it, just brings everything together. So I'll stay to the end because I'll be reading that message for you then. Now, please remember this is a collective reading. Receive what resonates, release what doesn't. And if this is especially connecting with you and you'd like to go deeper, feel free to schedule a session with me at any time that I have available at lightworkerwit.com. But all of my links are below. Feel free to check out my Amazon storefront for my journals. If you're interested in a journal for yourself, I really recommend it. It helps me personally when I'm crashing out all the time. Cancer Moon, Cancer Venus over here, I'm constantly crashing out. <laughs> and um, just offering something for you as, as a tool to use on your spiritual journey. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, guys, don't make it fit, all right? Maybe it's not for you and that's okay. You know, maybe check out your, you know, moon or rising sign, okay? <clears throat> all right, let's take a couple deep breaths. Great, Virgo, let's go ahead and take another one. I feel good. Do we want to do one more? Let's do one more. Amazing. Ten of pens. Oh, so comfortable. Like, come on, Virgo. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, just fine. The actual, that's, that's a throwback Chris Brown song from his first album. The actual meaning of that song is like about people who need to break up, but um, like are gonna be, he's trying to tell the person who's breaking up with this, she's gonna be fine. But those lyrics just came to mind that like, you are just fine. But if those, if the original lyrics of the song resonate, receive that message. Let's just go ahead and jump right in, Virgo. So you're starting out the month, 10 of pentacles, feeling abundant, feeling secure, feeling luxurious, luxurious, feeling wealthy, feeling like you maybe got some money coming in, you're feeling secure. And that really catapults you to feeling very secure for the rest of the month, October, feeling like you're ready to rest. You're comfortable. You're, you're really ready to like start your pre-hibernation, I feel like. Virgo. I feel like you're already done from summer. You're ready to rest. You're ready to sit down. You're ready to give yourself a break before the holidays. You are chilling. Okay, key goal to pursue this month is Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity for yourself. Okay. New money, even new opportunities, something that you would like to grow, a new pursuit. New connection, it could be, but it feels monetary. Um what to overcome obstacle to overcome is the devil okay the devil here uh it's capricorn energy obstacle to overcome also attachments the devil represents attachments so maybe we'll draw a clarity card on that one like what is it that you're attached to right now virgo what this could be a person like i said could be a capricorn please clarify the devil for virgo okay we've got ten of swords and queen of pentacles so perhaps an ending with an earth sign. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the Ten of Swords represents defeat, endings, etc. Overcoming this. 
you know what I want to know for you, Virgo, is this because because major accomplishment is Ace of Wands. You've got two aces in your readings. Ace of Wands is new passion, new feelings, new beginnings. So I want to understand with this obstacle, if this is a message that you will work through the challenge with this devil and like move forward with them or without them. Are we moving with or without them? Without <clears throat> the Hierophant here and the Seven of Wands, you without them, you are maintaining your boundaries, you're keeping them away from you, or at least trying to. The Hierophant is structure order. Um, sometimes this could represent a marriage. I don't know if this is a marriage or somebody that you have a restraining order against, um, some sort of order. Yeah, it might even it might be that you I don't normally say this, but it might be like you've ordered a restraining order against this person to stay away from you with this ten of swords here. Like you want nothing to do with them. You had to get the authorities involved. But even with that, maybe it's not that extreme. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Maybe this person experienced some sort of difficult ending, okay, if this is somebody close to you. All right, but again, Ace of, Ace of Wands is on the horizon here. So please clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo as major accomplishment. All right, we've got Page of Swords coming out. You're ready to express yourself in a new way. I feel like you're really ready to share your voice, tell your story, talk about what happened, especially if this was a toxic connection. I kind of am picking up on a little bit of a toxic connection here, Virgo. Especially if anybody's divorced and separated, it feels as if like it's finalized or, or something like that and you're finally able to rest, but like maybe something is finally being put to bed. What to avoid is the Ten of Cups, uh, family, connection, union, okay? Really strange that the Ten of Cups would be here, so we're gonna need to clarify that as well. Please, fear. why is the Ten of Cups here for Virgo? Oh, King of Swords is flipped over. Why, why should Virgo avoid Ten of Cups? The Sun. Uh, this might have to do with children. Again, you know, for some of you, if this is connecting, maybe this is about custody. But because the Sun represents children. Six of Wands. Victory, success, and achievement. I don't understand why this is in the position of what to avoid. These are all three positive cards. Why is this in the position of what to avoid for Virgo? Sudden wealth. No shit. No shit. I see. Okay. There may be a sudden wealth, you know, a sudden come up in your life, but your family may want a piece of it. They want... You know, let's say you won the lotto or you just got a new job or a new house or something. You can't, you got to be careful not to be taken advantage of by your newfound success. However, that resonates. It could be a small success, could be a big success, could be newfound fame. I don't know. But you, you got to, don't let your family overshadow or take advantage of your, your, your prosperity. Hmm interesting message there all right what to embrace eight of wands moving forward moving on and fast this is quick action um, sometimes the eight of wands represents um, infatuation getting carried away um, but I feel like the message here Virgo is like go forward like fast like don't don't actually let's let's clarify this because really we're talking about the Four of Swords being the theme of the month, but why are we embracing Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Virgo? Marriage. Oh, yeah. I just, there's Virgo. I feel like Spirit, I don't know if Spirit is trying to tell you to elope with somebody or to run away from somebody. You take whichever version resonates for you. But it is about a connection here. This also could be a business relationship, but I'm picking up on the fact that it is romantic. Okay.
I just, I just get the sense that the message is like, run fast, run away from this person. Like, do not. It also could be y'all, okay, obstacle to overcome with this devil. It might be somebody that knows that you have a lot to offer and spirit is trying to warn you. I always think of what to avoid as a warning. Spirit is trying to warn you that this person doesn't really want the same things that they say you want. Or excuse me, they don't want the same things that you want. They're saying that they do, but they might not mean it. So don't avoid, don't, don't be so quick to get all intertwined in this person's life or if this is a new connection. Because that's kind of the message I'm getting here. All right. Um, where to find support? The hangman. Do nothing. Hangman is out here. You don't have to do anything, I feel. And then the three of wands is uh, advice and encouragement. Like get on a plane, moving on, leveling up, leave it all behind. I feel like spirit, I feel like this entire reading was like, don't do nothing, protect yourself from them and move on. There's new opportunities that you need to pursue, new connections that you need to pursue and you need to leave this behind. That's genuinely what I'm feeling, Virgo. <clears throat> That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> was not. Whoa. All right. So let's see what is going to be coming up for. Um, your love life. Okay. put a few of these cards back so just take a moment if you'd like to drop a few comments in the chat how that's connecting with you if, if at all if again if it's not hey it's not your story that's okay that's okay this is meant to help and reach a lot of people Look into your love life. We're going to look into where you are, what you need to work on, what's coming up for you. You know what I, um, I don't know why, and I don't really remember who sings this, but I'm hearing the song, heard it all before, baby this, baby that, mm, like, that's the song. I hope y'all know what um, the song I'm talking about. Gonna <laughs> know. <laughs> show me you grew up in the 2000s without showing me you grew up in the 2000s <laughs> okay Virgo love life October 2024 Virgo love life 2024 Virgo love life 2024 October October for Virgo 2024 love life what to expect the unexpected theme of the month. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is crazy because it almost feels like it almost feels like there's going to be a big fight this month. Like there's going to be some stress in your love life, but it doesn't seem like well, it seems like Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Virgo, October 2024. Virgo, October 2024. Virgo. So 
some of you guys are dealing with new connections while some of you guys are dealing with old connections. Let me actually really look at what's happening here. I feel like you were hurt in some way last month, Virgo. It may not have even been the relationship that hurt you, but like external influences that affected you in the relationship. I, I genuinely feel that your relationship is being tested this month. I feel like I said this to you a few months ago. It's like constantly this relationship is being tested. All right, so <clears throat> Queen of Wands is coming up here. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, next to the Three of Swords, okay? That's why I'm saying that there's some sort of anguish, some sort of heartbreak, some sort of disappointment in your life that is affecting you and the relationship this month. You're trying to be strong. I also feel like there's infidelity here. I don't normally say that, but I feel like somebody was cheated on. And I feel like you're trying to be strong but it's really hard to get over. Like, there's a trust that was broken here for you, Virgo. The unexpected is five of swords next to the six of swords. Okay, so we've got an argument happening here. We're having a conflict. And then the outcome is transition, moving on. I'm feeling like there might be a, a temporary situa separation after a blowout. I'm feeling like one of y'all might stay at a hotel, one of y'all might... If y'all live together, one of you might stay at your parents or at a friend's house for a few days. Or if you're together all the time, one of you are finally going back to your place. There's definitely a big blowout that is happening. It's bigger than the other spats before. Now, the theme of the month is the lovers here. This does, does represent Gemini energy, but of course, divine, not just divine, but just unions in general. Six of pentacles here, giving and receiving. And then the chariot reversed, which to me, I'm not, I wasn't quite sure of whether or not this is indicative of the connection not moving forward or if you guys are not giving up on each other. Like if this is a message that you're not leaving. So that's why I wanted to see what the romance angels had to say. Now this is obviously very different from the overarching theme of your month because the month seems like spirit's trying to tell you to leave a connection behind but only you know your life because these could be two different connections there could be one connection spirit trying to leave tell you to leave behind and this relationship is just something completely different so um okay the first card that came out was let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally getting to know each other came out as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Mm. I don't love that card exactly, but take it if it resonates. Um, I just feel like I need more information if this connection is 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 uh, gonna make it. <laughs> this connection gonna make it. The lovers just came out again. The lovers just came out again. Queen of Swords, air sign energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Is this connection going to make it spirit? Death card. Now, the, with every ending comes a new beginning. Five of Wands again, conflict. Three of Pentacles, maybe this has to deal with work, maybe work is an issue, maybe three people are involved here. I'm hesitant to say. I'm hesitant to say, Virgo, because I don't want you to hear me say, oh, this isn't going to work, and then like you, this inspires you to end it. If you really want to end it, then do that. And I know what I just said in your monthly forecast, but I do feel that there is somebody that you need space from and I, I, I'm asked, right? We asked, okay, is the Ace of Wands related to this new person or not? Are they making it through? If you were really putting a gun to my head, I would have to say no. I don't think this connection is progressing forward. 
but everybody's situation is going to be different. I don't know your details. This could even be in relation to people who could be, this could even be in relation to like a, a, a couple that's staying at your in-law's house and that's putting stress on the relationship. And maybe the death card here is representing an ending of like living with them. Like it, everybody's situation is going to be different. So that's why you really have to lean into your intuition and understand what's for you and what's not. I do feel like a lot of outside noise is affecting this connection. It does feel like a deep bond here considering the lover has come out twice. But this connection is being tested, babe. So I want to read Let Go of Control Issues because I think that's the major message here and that's how you're going to find your way through this with your person. This is for people who are single and dating or, or, or uh, you know, in a committed relationship. <clears throat> The romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now it is up to you to allow their help to manifest by stepping out their way. By trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears that others, including God, won't live up to your expectations. This is also called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So please call upon the angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy creative avenues by which true love comes to you. Hmm. Like I said, there may be a temporary situation separation separation before coming together because the 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 lovers in Six of Pentacles, it's res it's there is some reciprocity here, but it's not without its challenges. So you gotta ask yourself if this connection is really worth it. Okay. All right now. Let's move on to your finances. Let's move on to your I wish I had better news for you, Virgo. Like I said, if it's not your story, it's not your story, okay? Don't try to make a shoe fit that don't fit. If you're if you're happily married and everything is good, I really I really wouldn't say that that was for a couple that is happy and everything is fine. I don't think something's going to fall out of the sky. The the readings that we've had thus far, Virgo, look like a couple that's been at each other's neck for a while. That's what it felt like to me. Like this isn't a surprise that y'all got issues. Okay? All right, let's let's go ahead and start looking into your uh, money and finance, career and finances. Same reading, what to expect, unexpected, theme of the month. Here's our Ace of Pentacles again. <clears throat> Page of Wands. Okay. All right. Big message to self-love this month for your career and finances. Let's see what pops out of our uh, career and money deck. What you got for Virgo, please? What do you have for Virgo? Gifts just came out. Yes. Money is definitely not an issue this month, but it seems to be causing issues yeah for sure all right all right having money is not the problem but but it's anyway 
All right, so what to expect? Knight of Swords, Reverse, and Justice. The Justice card does represent Libra. In case any of you are dealing with a Libra professionally, the uh, Justice is also about balance, fairness, justice. In relation to the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords um, is an air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But it's also feeling like, because it's in the reverse position, I'll show it to you upright. Because it's in the reverse position, it's feeling like somebody's not getting away with something. That's what it feels like to me. They thought they were trying to skip off and run away, but you caught them. It's feeling like you're catching somebody. It's feeling like you're catching somebody who is trying to run, trying to, trying to, ev trying to avoid the justice system, avoid getting what's due, avoid giving you what you deserve. It's coming, but, but it's coming because you're not letting them get away. The unexpected is um, Page of Swords and Ace of Wands again, excuse me, Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity to share your voice, to speak up. Some of you guys might be starting a podcast, starting some sort of like social type of channel where you talk about issues, but it's going to have the op uh, be a money-making opportunity for you, or at least have the potential to grow, okay? The theme of the month is Three of Pentacles, collaboration, working together, second time that card's coming out for you. Ten of Swords reverse, the swords are finally falling out, you're able to move on from a painful experience, and you have freedom. Freedom to explore, freedom to do what you desire, freedom to create. Maybe even having the freedom to work with who you want. Like let's say, maybe, you, maybe some of you had a non-compete that you're finally out of. I know that's so specific, but... And for those of you who don't know what that is, like let's say you were working in a sales type of capacity. Sometimes you have a non-compete where you have to like wait a year or something before you move on to another firm or whatever. Or maybe, I don't know. <sighs> Sneeze just wanted to come through. Nope, it's still right there. <laughs> okay. I usually sneeze more than once, so we'll see if that happens again. <clears throat> it's feeling like you're finally getting to do things your way. That's what it feels like to me. You're finally given the freedom to do things the way you want to do it. So the first card that came out was Gift, Virgo. Someone might give you a gift, lend you money, or help you in some way. You could get a cash bonus at work. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. Second card I saw was uh, Patience. Divine timing is at hand. It will require having faith while you are shown the way. You may feel tired and out of balance uh, you may feel tired and out of balance. The universe is forcing you to rest and recover. Money may be slow in coming in or unsatisfied with your finances. So just be patient. Like the gift is coming, but just, I don't know. I kind of feel like you're starting the month with that energy, like I said, but maybe there's patience required of you in another way. Unexpected is coming up. Okay. All right. Uh, prepare for unexpected financial loss. This financial crisis may be out of your control, but you can still control the outcome. Deal with the things head on and try to prepare for unexpected before it happens. Usually when this card comes up, it I mean, it is quite to its name, an unexpected expense that you weren't ex uh, anticipating or something that is a nuisance. Usually when it comes up, you're going to be able to find your way through. It's annoying, but you're going to be able to work it through. You'll figure it out. Like, I've never... I've learned over the years with this card, it's annoying, but I've never not been able to figure out how to make it work. And usually something does unexpected come up. It's what is it? More money, more problems. It's like, that's the vibe. All right, Virgo, I hope that was helpful for your career and finances. So the money is there and you're getting justice. Okay. All right. Let's see what your theme of the month is. We have angel of balance. Angel of Balance. Okay. 48 is the number. Being centered and self-honoring in your choices. 
This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Okay. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy. Yeah, I do feel like this is like things are kind of falling back into place maybe after a period of chaos. It seems like you're relationships are really what's kind of a mess here Virgo I'm not gonna lie but it also seems like October is the month that you get everything straightened out does that make sense this solar eclipse is coming to clean everything out clean clean house all right I hope that was helpful babe stay tuned give me a thumbs up if you like this video or share it with a friend let me know how it resonates for you in the comments below I appreciate your engagement um and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more content. I love you so much. I'll see you later in the month for some mid-month content, okay? I love you. Bye.